Hello and welcome to the third video in terms of helping you to, to submit assessment 3. Now just be aware that on this particular screen I'm looking at the Blackboard unit site through the teacher's lens uh, view. Uh, when you're looking through it from a student view you will see slightly different differences in terms of what you're seeing here but don't worry about it, the process is all the same. So in order to submit for assessment 3 you go to assessments and tasks then what you need to do is scroll down and you will find assessment 2 which is your presentation. Now this is worth 30% of your overall graded assessment marks so it's worth quite a bit so make sure you prepare and that you understand what's expected. It's also a video or some sort of online platform presentation that you decide upon that is between 1.5 to 2 minutes in length. Once you're ready to have a look at what we're expecting of you, in terms of assessment two, you click here. You will see that we have some quick notes to help you start thinking about your presentation in terms of how to access the rubric, in terms of this, uh, reading the submission declaration online form, which is here. Make sure you understand the due date and make sure that you're in contact with your academic supervisor to um, help you support yourself when it comes to this assessment in terms of expectations. Okay, you will know what's expected here by reading here. Uh, you will need to develop a 1.5 to 2 minute length in video multimedia presentation and you can use one or more technologies of your choice such as iMovie but there's plenty of others. Uh, but you need to make sure that it includes the narrative and pictorial information that you're wanting to highlight throughout your presentation to summarise your placement experience so far. Okay, it's important that you take the time to look at the rubric. So by clicking in here, you can view the rubric without necessarily submitting. Once you're ready to submit, this is the area where you submit and you'll come down here and you'll see Browse My Computer and that's where you will attach your file. Now just remember in Blackboard, Blackboard will not allow you to submit a video file. So what a lot of students do and what a lot of academic supervisors will expect you to do is to make sure you're using an online platform that you've both agreed to where you can host your video and you could submit a Word document when you're ready to submit your assessment and you can insert the URL address so that your academic supervisor can then access your video or other means of presentation online and that means the rubric will still work and we'll be able to provide you with feedback. So once you're ready to start thinking about planning your presentation, I highly recommend that you look at the rubric to see what we're expecting. So this is how you will enter the rubric here and you will see the different criteria for a dis high distinction, a distinction, meet standards, credit and also further work and if you haven't passed. We have criteria that goes along horizontally and there is the criteria. This is the first part of your criteria. Make sure you read what we're expecting here. Here's the second part of the criteria. Make sure you read what's expected here and further down the same process occurs. Now I've had a couple of students ask me questions about what is the difference between discipline knowledge and non-technical skills. Your discipline knowledge skills are those skills that you've been learning as part of your course up until this point. So that's really in line with your actual discipline. So for example, if you're an engineering student, if you're a health student, or if you're a film student, you would have been learning certain discipline knowledge throughout your course. And that is what you're also using and experimenting and learning about in your placement as you complete your placement full time. Your non-technical skills are the broader skills that you would have, you're hoping to develop and learn throughout your course, but more importantly, how you're integrating that into your placement experience in terms of things like what employers are looking for around communication skills, teamwork skills, digital literacy, and the list goes on. Okay, what I also highly re recommend that you do is that you work closely with your academic supervisor, you get in contact with them, you make sure that you're aware of what's expected of you for this presentation, and in terms of what platform you'll be using and how you'll be submitting and that you don't have any difficulties before you submit. If you have any other further uh, sorry, if you have any other further questions you would like to ask the convener, that's also an option. Thank you.